This playthrough is rated T for teen. Time to get our walking miles in. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we started our journey and headed towards uh, Dracula's castle. We were all prepped and ready to go, but unfortunately, Dracula, uh, Dracula's minions, in this case, Death, was ready for us. So he uh, took away our equipment and forced us to go through our, the castle via our wits and the gear we can find inside. So, all right, let's start... Now, I could go up through the section where I stayed. However, we are... That section... That place is locked off. So, we can't go... Uh, we can't go any... Actually, before I go into this, there's actually one more place I want to go into. I do want to go through this door. However, um, uh, this, that'll be the way to our next destination. So, let's go to one of the doors we skipped the first time. Now, if I'm skipping some areas, or it seems like I'm skipping areas, it's because we can't complete them, or there's... Nothing we could really get right now, anyway. So, I will come back to them later. So, anyway. Hope you like harpsichord. Anyway, we entered a long library. Okay. Ow. These guys are called like Durans or something like that, if I remember correctly. I like when their heads pop off there. Okay. Let's just make our way through this place and see what we can find. Ow. Well, yeah, basically making the whole damage we did on pointless. Trying to do the dark analysis. There we Maybe I should switch to the knife just to get off a lot of quick hits. Hmm. Yeah, I like the range. Ow. <laughs> now it wears out. Oh, well, at least I got them once to uh, bleed on me. What are you gonna do? Blade all my? Ooh, hello. Alright, we get a bronze cure ass! Oh, I'm sorry. That's usually not my type of humor. Maybe you get one extra defense, so why not? Now we want to make sure we have uh, some money with us by the by the by. I don't know why I'm trying to fight everything. Um, I said at least fight everything once. I'm probably a bit behind on certain items and stuff like that, but that's fine. I said I'm not trying to min-max this game, so if I did, I would have off-screened um, redoing that fight against Dracula and uh, trying to beat it within a minute, but. Nah, it's not that big of a deal. It would just make the uh, it make the early game a lot easier just because my stats were decently high. But that's nothing I can't uh, get over. But anyway, these are ectoplasms, I believe. Don't let them hit you. They'll do. They'll put you in the curse condition. The curse condition. What that means is I can't. Basically, I can't do. Uh, you can't attack. You can cast magic, but you can't physically attack. Like use a sword or whatever. So make sure to not get hit by those guys. I mean, it's more annoying, and this place does drop a lot of anti-curses. Uh, these are, I think, spell books is what they're called. Uh, yeah, they, they spill. They're bleeding profusely, which is basically letters. Really, when you think about it, even though there's no blood, that's kind of gruesome when you think about that. Just because it's not red doesn't mean that the concept behind it isn't gruesome. That's what's going up in. Go this way. We do want to go this way, the, that way here in a second, but I want to grab an item. Ow. We'll have to come back to this place later anyway, because we can't 100% the map unless we uh, uh, get the ability to uh, double jump or whatever. So anyway, here we get the fairy scroll. What that does is now we can see what the enemies uh, are called. Yeah, I guess these are magic tomes. Oh yeah, the magic tomes when they attack, they, uh, they'll they open up their books and uh, hit you with something, depending on what it is. I think the spell books will like spit out, or look, uh, like skull pictures will pop up at them, which is pretty cool. I do like the, some of the character animations and, uh, and designs in this place. Even if I have an issue with RPG mechanics in uh, uh, Castlevania, which I don't think they belong in a Castlevania game, to tell you the truth. Because like I said, there's a lot of mechanics that the original Castlevanias had, and by adding RPG mechanics to them, 
makes it, you know, kind of pointless. So, obviously, this game is the first of uh, first of many that they did, and they would eventually perfect it later on uh, to a point, uh, especially in the um, uh, Aria, uh, the Aria of Sorrow games, which people consider to be. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. Well, you need money to pie from him. But anyway, this is the librarian. He has no reference to any character before. He just, just says we know him or something like that. But anyway, the librarian has a couple of things he can tell us. He can, he can sell I'm gems, in this. which are the uh, those rings we found. So you can just straight up sell them. There's no reason to keep these things. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can also look I'm at tactics. In this. What this is is just how to fight the characters that you come across. So how to fight Dracula, Slogra, and Gabon, which were that like demon bat thing and uh, the bird thing or whatever. And Doppelganger Tin was the copy of us that we fought. Also, the enemy I'm list. In this. this tells you what the enemies are in the game and what their uh, weaknesses and strengths are. Uh, the only time it'll tell you the dropped items is if they have none or if you've encountered all the dropped items on them. So if you haven't had that drop from them, it'll say it in a question mark what it is. Yeah, this is Dracula. And it has a little uh, flavor text below. Uh, destroyed by Richter in 1792, five years ago. But uh, bloody skeleton. Yeah, see, so revives due to blood soaked bones. Uh, Merman. It shows that you can drop Zircons and something else. But I'm not going to go through all these. Maybe I'll do a bonus episode where I go through all this stuff. And the way that these items can get, uh, these creatures can get on here is you have to kill them once. Oh, there's the uh, doppelganger, for example. So, uh, the way to fight him, for whatever qual, if you equipped the Red Rust weapon, um, and that, has the, that weapon has the ability to curse. Uh, and you could actually hit the doppelganger with curse, and you could get it to not t attack you. Well, it couldn't attack you with like weapons. It could still turn to like the bat and everything like that. But you could prevent it from hitting you with the, with the sword. Even though I don't think I ever got hit by the sword. I think I got hit by by either touching him or like from bat form or something like that. Uh, but anyway, the way you get these guys to appear is you just have to kill that creature once, and it'll pop up on here. So where's that one boss? Oh, is it not on here for some reason? He, oh, there's slow grow. Right there. Demon with a chance spear. Yeah, 200 HP. And then gave him. Yeah, they just gave me experience, but... Okay, wait, wait. So, we want to buy I'm something from, from the old man. We want to buy the Jewel of Open. <laughs> Thank you. What this does is allow us... Uh, yeah, can now open locked blue doors. Remember, we found uh, uh, like two or three of these already? So now we can go back to old areas to... Uh, uh, deal with them. So let's see potion that heals you uh, Poisoning um, Poisoning I believe doesn't actually do the whole like what it would in a previous game Which would be a lower your HP. I think what it does is it just zaps your strength or you do like very little damage or something like that If I recall curse is the one where you can't do anything or you can't physical attack Hunter petrify if you have a familiar we'll get those eventually magic missile block a knife library card <laughs> a chain of library card. Uh, Saber, we could buy weapons here. Um, I mean, that would... Yeah, uh, I mean, we could, although these are two, two-handed weapons. I'd rather have a shield just to get the extra defense. Um, but yeah, a lot of times, if you just kind of play through the game, you kind of don't need to buy stuff. Uh, if you really... I mean, other than the story-based stuff or stuff that you need. Uh, but we can at least buy a... Uh, 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 castle map. This will give us. <laughs> Thank you. This will like tell us. Uh, well for now. Yeah. See, now there's some areas unlocked. Unfortunately, the top area that we could go to is uh, uh, because of uh, certain things we can't actually get past that area. So we have to avoid that for now. And going down to the bottom, there's no point in going there because there's not much I can do with that. I need an ability to go through that section. So I think the closest blue door is probably going to be on the left side. I think there might have been another blue door closer um, that I recall, but um, that'd be the, the closest one. So we'll go to that one first. So maybe come back later to, to talk to that guy. But for now, we're done with the library. And yeah, because we can't, we need a double jumping or something like that to access the rest of this place. So 
Let's go back later. That's pretty much going to be the case for a lot of things in this game, is, uh, we'll just have to, uh, come back later. And, and, oh, and by the way, when it comes to that, specifically, what I'm going to do is I'm, um, oh, yeah, that's one of their abilities, they can call down lightning on their, on their blaze. Um, is there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this game, so when it comes to that, probably what I'll do is I'll, um, uh, just cut to when I get to the backtracking spot, so that way you don't have to, um, that way I'm not wasting your time by watching me walk all the way there. Um, uh, luckily these guys are weak to, uh, uh, magic, or, uh, uh, sub-weapon, stuff like that, so. Although there's different types of sub weapons with different effects, so obviously if my intellect was lower, it wouldn't do as much damage, but Okay, so we wanna go uh Ooh. Well, we can just sell that. Um There we go. Now we want to go through that one area I was going to go through, and I, I, I changed my mind on it because I'm like, well, I have to go. I want to get something before I do that so we can get that blue. I'm trying to remember where the other blue do uh, door hallway was that I can't, couldn't access. Kind of already forgot. But anyway, we'll just go the we'll just go the one I know for sure. I mean, we've got plenty of time. There's plenty more castle to explore, so. All right, time to go through this door. And this will take us, uh, this will be a nice little treat. It take us to, what's this, a keyhole? The dragon has the key. Man, if we're following our way here, we find ourselves at, well, I can show you the map. Yep, we're all the way back here, but we need to go back here because the one of the blue doors is not too far away. And we can create a shortcut, go to heart max. Okay, back the way we came. So, uh, oh yeah, the, the bottom section there is uh, near the entrance. Uh, actually, wasn't that bottom place a door as well? I think it was a blue door. Actually, I could probably go down that way first. Yeah, the place where the vermin were or whatever. Yeah, I keep open. I can like somehow manipulate manipulate things to get over there. So. Look at these zombies are easy to kill. Probably just avoid them. They don't get much experience. Yeah, I'll keep the uh, book for I'll keep the Holy Bible book for now. The the Holy Bible. Well, depending on which version. I think in the Japanese version it's called the Bible. I think in the American version it's just called the Holy Book or whatever. Or, ma or actually, I think it might be just called the Magic Book actually. Actually, I wonder if I could read some candle now. Well, I mean, with these. There we go. Oh, we can get it. Now, uh, the, uh, the, the stopwatch is too expensive. Right. That's right. I forgot that wasn't, that wasn't, that, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot that wasn't a blue door. See? My brain's already working against me. Yeah, that's right. These guys don't bleed, so I can't do the whole, uh, metamorphosis on them. Metamorphosis. Yeah, weirdly, this vo the voice acting in this game is either, is obviously bad, but it's weirdly it's weirdly good in some places, if that makes sense. And, it, and what I mean is not good as in like good, bad, or whatever you want to call it. I'm talking about like good as in like uh, well, I guess decent anyway. Is like for example, the beginning of the game when you fight when it's Richter versus Richter versus Dracula. You can tell the voice actor for Dracula is trying his hardest on that while. Uh, the guy who's playing Richter's voice kind of isn't really trying. Oops. I'm trying to cast the Dark Morphosis. Just because I'm fighting those, uh, uh, bloody zombies. Okay, never mind. I thought they were called murderers for some reason. Must be misremembering. They work well because, you know, they're always bleeding, so. All right, let's go, yeah, I guess let's keep going this way. Back to the, uh, this previous section. 
Yeah, I'm just trying, well, I mean, technically I could just skip to uh, getting to the location, but yeah. Oh, oh, we already have a short sword. Never mind. Well, we know that the uh, bone scimitars drop uh, short swords. You know? Yeah, I regret that I don't there anyway, so. Actually, that's a safe spot, isn't it? No, never mind. I was like, uh, it's up ahead, so. Man, if only we could teleport to the safe spots. Oh well. Take that skeleton. You weren't, you weren't gonna live any longer anyway, because you're a skeleton. Shit. Watch out for those. Watch out for those guys, because when they hit you, they poison you, and yeah, when they cry on you. Cry some more, chub. Or chew, whatever. I don't, know. Yeah, I don't want their guy crying on me. Dude, I am, not, I am definitely not that friend that, uh, that uh, helps you when you're crying or feeling bad. I'm like, dude, get away with me with that. I should always go and save it. Luckily, I have backup saves, so... What I do is I copy my data, and uh, uh, before recording, I copy the save file, and then when I beat the episode, I copy that file again, just to have multiple backups, since I have plenty of memory cards to uh, resort to. So not a not a problem. It's so if there's a recording issue, I can go back or redo it or whatever. So, all right, first door. Um, yeah, we'll keep the book for now. I mean the. Holy water is actually not bad, but... So, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. And that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I like the fact she mentions that she's been here before because she has. She was during Rondo of Blood. It's just weird that, you know, this is what Maria became kind of serious. I got, I think it would have been funny. But anyway, we find ourselves in the Royal Chapel. I think it would have been funny if... Uh, uh, actually, I'll save it again just because I just saved it. I think it would have been funny if Maria stayed kind of the ditzy blonde girl instead of became more serious. I don't know. But then again... I'm the one who's complaining about sometimes the game becoming too silly in anime at times when this is supposed to be gothic core. So, there anyway, we got Aquamarine. We can sell that later. Um, so, I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, right. I forgot these guys are pretty... Yeah, these are the bone pillars, the classic enemies. Uh, <laughs> gotta stop running. Uh, got... Oh, this guy could be... The corner guard, huh? He's guarding them stairs, man. Watch out. Maybe I should have grabbed, maybe I should grab the holy water. Yeah, if you defeat one of the bull pillars on this though, the head, the other one will fall down. Yeah, unfortunately the book, uh, it's got pretty short range, so it makes it a little bit harder to uh, go after him. But yeah, he'll, those things will really divvy up your HP. Yeah, 15, 14 hits a pop, so. At least you can generally tell when the. <laughs> Who knew that Spike Ball was going to do that? I didn't know. Who was who to know such things? Oh, nice. Can't get up there, though. Alright, what's this? Oh, magic sword in there. Perhaps we could claim it like Excalibur or something like that. Uh, well, not getting that, I guess. Uh. All right, we get goggles for our efforts if we go up here. Let's take a look at those. They're comfortable eye protection. They raise our intellect by quite a bit, so uh, definitely better than the sunglasses. Now, there are some combinations of the game that you can, uh, certain items you can equip. Well, I was going to try to hit that candle, but I didn't. Not that I need to, I guess, but it's the principle of the thing. Ah, come on. Man, wait till I get all my upgrades. I don't know why they didn't just give us upgrades uh, sooner. Oh wait, because it's an RPG game, so. 
All right, I didn't have to do that, but I wanted to do that. But anyway, let's fight this thing. Ah! Yeah, this is the magic. Actually, is it called magic sword? Uh, well, anyway, those things around it are puppet swords. Yeah, this guy can do a decent amount of damage to you. Nothing crazy. Would have been worse if I still had all that damage that happened during the uh, uh, from the uh, bone towers or whatever. Ow, dude. Oh, I didn't even get to see the item name. Well, it was, I think it was called the Magic Blade or something like that, so. Actually, I guess I didn't have to fight him. I could have avoided him, so. Alright. Actually, I could, uh, we'll see. Let's see what that door, door go. I mean, yeah, it takes us to another area, but let me see about it. By the way, the castle map, if you buy it, it's basically a suggestion on where you're supposed to go uh, for the purposes of uh, following the path until you explore later on when you have more levels and stuff like that. So, All right, we got a night shield, even though we already had a night shield. But if you didn't have one, because did, I got my, did mine drop by, like I got lucky and it dropped from one of the axe armors or something. So, yeah. But the game sometimes will give you just items, you know, to help you out. But yeah, I don't really use the shields. Anyway, now I can go this way. Where do you like it? Wiggles in his hands when he's uh, running with it. So don't be running with scissors now. Yeah, it's like a confessional, but there's no one here to really talk to. Nothing to do for now, anyway. I come back another day. Yeah, confess your sins, Skellerang. That's right, I saw you. I saw you as you with Colonel Mustard in the library with a candlestick. Ooh, that was close. Good thing they, uh, their weapons disappear as soon as you, uh, Hit them or whatever. Now I could just. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I somehow, out of like some weird reflex, just decided to get going down when I didn't need to do that or mean to do that. <laughs> it's almost funny, actually, with how, like, how silly that was. Yeah, there's something there, but it's blocking our way. So remember that for later. Yeah, this game's going to be a lot of remember that for later. That's just how it is. But, I'll take that, Black Crow. Thanks for thank you for that. I think that's as far as I need to drop down. Okay. Of course, Black Crows are going to be annoying, just like they are in every game. Wow. Lovely. I love being jostled around. What the hunting girl? I mean, that's a cute, that's a cute uh, uh, scream you have, or whatever you want to call it. Are you gonna, are you gonna come over here? Yeah, it's basically a, a, like the sword. You have to attack the sword. Actually, I wanna, I wanna finish her off before, just so I can get the credit for the. That way it, it pops up in the um, enemy tactics or whatever. How much life do you have? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeesh. Thank you. Maybe we have to go the other way anyway. Might as well go through here. What the? Yeah, we can't do anything. Well, I mean, technically, if I knew how to... Oh, wait, no, we don't have that ability yet. Never mind. Um, but there is an ability we can get, but we'll have to remember that for later. Ooh, I'm, like, super close to... I just realized I'm about to die. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. Let me uh, equip the turkey. Oh, no! Seriously, game? All right, fine. I died. 
So I have to go back through that one place now. Game over. I was actually gonna use the turkey on uh on on the thing to heal me, but no. Let's uh pull back up the memory card again, I guess. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually really annoying. Yeah, here's what happens if you uh, use the uh, analog stick to mess with the loading screen. Okay. We have to do that again. So that's really obnoxious, actually. I didn't realize I had been taking that much damage, to tell you the truth. It was one of those things I wasn't paying attention. So, all right. I'll just see you back at that one spot. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back after after going through that nonsense. I mean, can't believe I... I mean, I knew I was low on health, but I don't know. I was just not expecting to die for some reason. But anyway, let's continue on. I can't believe the, I can't believe the turkey I was going to use just fell right past me. Out of screen. Oh, that was annoying. That actually quite quite perturbed me. And I was just fu this close to getting the, ma the life AP uh, life up, too. And we also get a strength potion as well. Let's take a look at that one. Uh... Now, uh, those open blocks are going to mess with my OCD. But uh, I had to come back this way anyway, so. Now let's take a look at the uh, strength potion. Let's see, strength potion, yeah, raises your strength. I forgot by how much, but it's a decent amount. There we go over here. We got a silver plate at the top of the tower. Not the clock tower, but close. Alright, let's look at that. Yeah, it raises our defense by three. Very nice. Take plus damage. Alright, let's go this way. That. Ow. Such creative names like Bone Halibur, Bone Scimitar. Ow. No. Take that. And bats don't seem to be as annoying as birds in this game. Huh? Book doesn't really, well, I guess it does help, but it's easier if I would have had like the, uh, like maybe like the um, axe or the dagger or something like that. Oops. Yeah, look, we don't take much damage from the, uh, those guys now. Got a new uh, sub weapon. Oh, wait, no, never mind. We've had this one before. Never mind. It looked different. It looked different to me. Sorry. It just looked weird for a second. I was like, wait, man, I thought we've, we've had this one before, but it looked almost like a weird clock thingy. I was like, nope, wrong thing. Let's grab this. Zircon, we can sell that. Cubic zirconium, better than diamonds, because you're not making children children mine their way for it. Let's see, oops. Yeah, I didn't mean to fall down. <laughs> ah, come, ah, come on! Oh, I thought I... Oh. Huh, I thought I grabbed the magic button. Whoops. Oh, this ain't good. I must have missed it when I was trying to grab it, so... Oh, well, that'll work, I guess. I mean, I prefer the book, but... Eh, we'll find another one. At some point. Uh-oh. What's this thing? Actually, I think I missed the uh, save spot, which is that one spot down there, so... Hmm. Do I want to go for that? Uh, that would mean having to go through the whole section again. I mean, I have to come back this way anyway, but that is a boss. Uh, maybe, perhaps I should heal myself. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try it. I guess the hippogriff. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts. Yeah, he likes to fly around the screen, huh? Yeah, the only problem is I'm, I'm a bad I'm a bad case of I'm a bad case of judgment when it comes to the uh, 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 the uh, lightning. Fire lightning. Uh, my assaults. Yeah, I'm just trying to be careful just because I've only got so much life. Whoa. Ah, nuts. I was doing so well there for a second. Uh-oh. 
up, up. Um. Oh, dang it! All right, I'll just try. I'll to do the turkey, just because I'm about to out, out of life. Okay, yeah, that's what happens. But unfortunately, I, I just got really unlucky when I when I used it before, and it fell off screen. So. Yeah, I don't have the best weapon for this, to tell you the truth. If I, if the best weapon would have been the knuckle. There's a, uh, well, I could have cooked my knuckles, but there's a weapon called a jewel knuckle I uh, missed out on. That would have made this fight a little bit easier and quicker. Yeah, the problem with not having the right levels is sometimes some fights will take a while. There we go, got him. I mean, you can still beat him without it. It's just having some weapons will make it like a lot faster. So impressive, you're very strong. What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Of the Belmont clan, of course. But he disappeared about a year ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him. Please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. Yeah, he's like 400 years old or whatever. But yeah, I like during that picture where she shows Richter, and then when uh, when Trevor's thinking of, or sorry, when Aglacar's thinking of a Belmont, it shows Trevor from Castlevania Three. Nice touch. Oh, and I, I forgot to show off the picture uh, here. Very gruesome. Look at that. I like old gothic art. Just something macabre about it is just entertaining. But yes, uh, so yeah, Maria is looking for Richter, which makes sense. She uh, she helped him in the previous game. I mean, it's canon that she helped him to an extent. I don't know how far though, because the game dictates that Maria is, is more of a joke character. When it well, I don't know if joke is the word I'd use. Uh, more of a silly character, so it's hard to say how serious she, her help was involved in the game. I assume she did help, but it was at what, at, to what scale? It's always hard to, hard to dictate. So, yeah, you got a potion here. Yep, all right, and here we get a cutlass. Yar, 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 yar. Let's see what it, let's see what it is. Sword of the English Navy, so it does a little bit more attack. So why not? I think it's a little bit slower though. Oh, no, it's about the same speed. Uh, the problem is a lot of weapons will be basically the same. You only get a few exceptions where some weapons are clearly different. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Oh well, that's just the problem with RPGs in general, really. There's a safe spot. Alright, so let's continue on. Let's see. Yep, let's go on to the next area. The... This place. Oh, I think I this place. What's this? The flea Riders, yeah. I've seen them before. And, yeah, let's try it. Let's try this item for a while. Yeah, this is one of those build up, build up uh, songs. It takes a while to get going. But when it does, yeah, baby. Anyway, yeah, we're in the castle keep. Took a hot minute for it to activate, so. All right, let's go this way first. And enter another teleport section. All right, let's see where this takes us. Or teleport stone or teleport key or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, teleports is here. So the way this works is it teleports us to any known, lo any known, known location that has a, a key fob thing to it. So it teleports back here. Or back to here. So there's three spots that do that currently. So, yeah, I just want to unlock that so we can come back to this or teleport to other places and stuff like that, so. 
Yeah, weirdly enough, we're almost done with the, the initial first part of the game. I forgot how quickly, if you don't search for every single secret, uh, you can, how quickly it can go by. Anyway, we got a new item here. The Tire Fing. Tire Fing? Tire Fing? Or whatever. Anyway, a cursed Dark Sword. It's cursed! Cursed, I say. Yeah, zero attack, so we don't want to quit it for now. But we have it. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts. What? Didn't actually mean to use that, so. Whoops. What's that? It was a, it was a bit further, wasn't it? Right? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, keep going. What if it's faster to. Uh, kind of fast. If you, you, but you had to mash the button though. You had to do the monster mash, but you know. Just like the, uh, ooh, could do the more, oh, oh, got some ham and eggs. Green eggs and ham. Ah. That's, yeah, I, I have trouble activating the dark. Oh, great, now no flea riders are around. There we go. Here we get a leapstone. All right, let's take a look at that. Leapstone. Where could double jump? Yay! Finally, we get double jump. Woo! Our right, cape turns into like a little set of wings. All right, now we can go to that uh, um, that section I skipped before because we couldn't actually make the jump. But with the leapstone, we can now do that. So now that's why we want to go back to that. But. Oh, there's another thing I forgot to show off too. Uh, last episode, we got the uh, the uh, the wolf ability or whatever you want to call it. Um, well, I can show it off now. I just for I just forgot about it actually after all this time. So let's keep going. Let's tell. Let's go back to that one spot though. So yeah, one more. Okay, well anyway, we, were, we got the ability to transform into a wolf, so how do you do that? You press the R2 trigger, and the thing about uh, going to the wolf is if you want to speed through levels, you can transform into a two. You can also have them attack by the, if you press the attack button. And you can also jump as well. I think that's it. His big thing is really fast. If you double tap, uh, you can make him go faster. So what part of the level, was it up ahead? I'm trying to remember that part I had to, um, needed to double jump to get the item. Was it down further? Might have been further down. Oh no, there it is, it's right here. The, the, ooh! You get a Medusa shield. Oh, that's a rare drop from the, the Medusas. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit weaker on the defense though, but it has its own attack ability. Let's show that off. Yeah, you can run into uh, creatures and it'll pre it'll petrify them, but unfortunately Medusa heads are immune to that. So yeah, oh well. Still, I didn't expect to get that to drop. Actually, I wasn't trying to make it drop. It's just one of those things. I guess my luck was just good enough. Actually, my luck set isn't really that great. It's only 15. I mean, it's okay. But... Let's see. Let's save it. or let's uh, heal. Actually, I don't really need to heal, do I? Now yeah, let's uh, let's do it anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll leave it. I know I can change. I know I can save to different slots, but I can just do that later or off screen and all that. So, all right, let's actually go to this place now that I ignored before. All right, let's find ourselves in the clock tower. Save the clock tower. Lightning will strike it, you know. Anyway. All right. Now the reason why you want the double jump by this point is, well, we'll see. This part. Falls down. We got some kind of skulls here, but uh, yeah. If you fall down, it'll get not. Ooh, remember these guys from Rondo Blood. But anyway, if you fall down, you fall. D Actually, I'll have to get to that section anyway, just to explore it. Although I'll have to come back to this area to explore it anyway, because you need a certain uh, uh, ability to uh, get further. Ooh, got a pentagram here. Ah, no, no. 
dang it. Oh, well, luckily the, when the, um, yeah, here's a new enemy, Skull Lords. These are, these are really cool. Kind of reminds me of that attack that, uh, that Death uses on you during, um, Rondo Blood at the very beginning, which was really cool looking. I like the Turbo Graphic version of that attack. That one, because it had the anime, uh, flair to it, that was kind of cool looking. Yeah, I know, I keep mixing back into, like, but you talk about one gothic art and you, you, you defend that anime stuff. What's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm a complicated dude. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, there's some stuff here. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't access it yet. So, remember that for later. Ah, nuts. Dang it. I got... Uh, maybe the axe might be better here, actually. Yeah, it does decent damage. Uh, I keep falling down. Dang it. I mean, it's not like it's that hard to get back up there. It's just, you know, it's just a little, a little annoying, that's all. It's a little annoying. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, it doesn't take very long to, to get some of these abilities, does it? Huh. Kind of makes me wonder if maybe I could have made this series a little bit shorter. Like, made it 30 minutes, the 30 minute videos instead of the hour one. Oh, well, that's fine. If I had the magic book, this wouldn't be a problem. If I had the Holy Bible, it wouldn't be a problem. Well, depending on some people, yeah, that would, that would be the case. Yeah, screech, you little screech. Take that. And some of these. I don't know why I like the little, the little, you know, calls or whatever that. Ah, no, no, don't! I knew it. I freaking knew that was going to happen. Ugh. Stupid. Of course I was going to fall down and get hit by the guy and get knocked down into the bottom floor again. Of course. Should have turned to the wolf just to... Just to save me some time. Oh well. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember using the wolf form very often, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's it's only useful in certain stages. I guess you could say that with any item when you think about it. But uh, with the wolf, it's a case of uh, um, I only use it during long corridors to like run through it. You know? Even then, I might forget about it. Yeah, just keep staring at me, buddy. What? Oh, you got something on your nose, dude. All right. I guess it's just called a Medusa head. I guess it's of the same type. It's just when it's a different color. Oh yeah, I never showed off what happens if you get running water. Yeah, uh, it hurts uh, Alucard because he's a, you know, he's a vampire. They don't like running water. Uh, there was a, I think there was a way to like not get hurt by that after after a point. Oops. There you go, get a little extra heal before we find the. Uh... Ah. Oh. Well. Uh, do I want the dagger? Yeah. Here's a way to get back up here. However. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep the axe. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to explore through here until I have the ability to fly. So even though I probably could get some items from this place, I'm not gonna mess with it. Yeah, there's the harpies. Yeah, they use a lot of uh, reuse a lot of the models from uh, Rondo Blood here, or I guess reuse is not the same because it's technically not the same engine, but they use a lot of the same character designs from uh, Rondo Blood. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I forgot how annoying her was right there. Yeah, luckily the Medusa heads don't do a ton of damage. The only, the only annoying thing about them is, uh, is the uh, possibility of petrifying you. Oh man, come on. Ah! There we go. Ow. Oh. 
be doing something wrong on that, that section. We'll have to come back later for, for that part. Because I believe it was supposed to be you had to hit them until they all clicked. It's like one HP per second or something like that when you uh, are in running water. As long as it feels even a few of these. Why is it sometimes like hit it in the wrong, uh, other direction? Ah, oh, no. Yeah, that's that's the problem with using that. I don't know. That it's just... I think I remember the harpies being pretty annoying in uh, Rondo Blood. And we got an apple. That heals us when you eat it. Ah! Okay. Look at how much damage you do, man. Oh, well, alright. The game doesn't want me to keep my. Uh. Yes. Some of the doors are obvious, some aren't. Oh, flea armor. What? That was weird. Okay, let's see. Just making sure I'm in all the corners when I explore a place, so. I don't know, isn't the whole point of being a flea is that you're agile, so wouldn't heavy armor be kind of pointless for you? That's well, different, I guess. You know, he's trying out something new, man. Can't blame him for that, I guess. What the? Got a cold night here, huh? Yeah. Wish I had the, wish I had the magic book. Yeah, I'll save that for if I about to die, which might happen. <laughs> Ooh. I was just something about the way he dies, just the ooh, just kind of funny. All right, anything else here? Or was it just that? Nope. Yeah, I got a couple of these. All right. Yeah, health and hearts. I don't want. To, I don't want to be met by your axes and do. They don't do much damage though because of my defense though rating. Hey, leave me alone, man. I don't want to mess with you. I don't mess with the vertically challenged, if you know what I mean. Ah, oh, okay, that hurt me. Okay, fine, I'll mess with you. Ugh. 
Ow. Ah. Stop. Yeah, horrible, horrible lady. I'm falling down on purpose because, uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, after we hit all the switches, this opens up here, so. Seal Helm, Gold Plate, and Star Flail. I don't remember if there's anything else here. No, I think that's it. But yeah, that's why I dropped back down, so. Alright, where's the Star Flail? Flail with Spiked Balls, a little bit stronger. Let's show that off. Yeah, it's a little bit of a delay. Um, I prefer kind of the speed of the sword, to tell you the truth. All right, what else did we get? Uh, Steel Helm. Yeah, we lose our intelligence, but we gain a defense buff. At this point, I prefer the defense buff. Same with the gold breastplate. A couple points of defense. And yeah, we can sell that stuff, so. All right, let's go up. Yeah, if you get all those switches to give to click, that, that section opens up, so. Yeah, unfortunately the harpy still does a decent amount of damage to you. With that at least the dagger anyway. I should do the more metamorphosis again. Alright, let's look into level. As a matter of, since these harpy, uh, the Medusa heads don't do much damage to me, that would be a perfect chance time for the metamorph metamorphosis. Oops. Oh, come on, this one. Oh, eh, there's a harpy there. Was... I'll do a little bit of HP grinding. Not much, though. Because I don't think there's a safe spot not too far away. Yeah, not a bad place to actually heal up if you don't have any healing. I was like potions or whatever. Okay, that worked. I mean, I could have bought a few for the for the librarian, I guess. Sword Lord. Ooh. I just yeah, the dagger. Unfortunately, it's just vandal sword. Did he just laugh? He's like, oh 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 oh. oh, oh. Very well, it's almost that time of year, really. Santa's sticking his nose into the Halloween season this year because of uh, the, the, how the sh shops work. And they're even forgetting about Thanksgiving, at least in my uh, holiday. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, just something about the way he laughs. Like, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, it's definitely entertaining. I do miss some old, miss old school white voice acting, you know. Like uh, like characters like Tony J and stuff like that. Or whatever. Yes, games. This area is kind of being a jerk to me just because of the whole, you know, as soon as you beat the armor, all of a sudden the ar the sword comes out and attacks you now. At least in this section. Are you sure I should go this way, sir? Why to me? Anyway, get some armor here. A healing mail. Awesome. Let's take a look at that. Healing mail. Restores HP while walking. Unfortunately, you do lose a little bit. Of... I think it takes a while for the HP thing to like actually boost in, if I remember correctly. I don't even remember it being worth it, to tell you the truth. If I remember correctly, I did equip it right. Yep. Yeah, see how it says it's supposed to be healing me, but, uh, you know. Not seeing much going on there, if you know what I mean. Uh, actually, let's go back really quick. I want to I wanna fill out the screen, because. Oh, right. They all respawn. Ah! Uh, Yeah, let's, let's, you know, let's go on ahead. I was going to clean out that little section, but. Because I'm pretty low on health, so. What 
What's there, my friend? Why, there's a shark in there. Thank you. Oh, right. Ah, uh, nuts. Um, uh, what do I have? Uh, let's see. We've got a high potion. There's a potion there. Let me... Heal really quick. Okay, that'll work. That should be good enough. Uh, okay. Let's quick back the cutlass again. Oh yeah, the shuriken is a throwing weapon. As you can see there, it does 51 damage if it hits. Oh, ouch. Ah, nuts. I have to heal again, maybe. Use another potion. Oh, did I get him stuck in a in a in a, in a uh, uh, circle? Oh, I think I did. He's not. He's he's supposed to reset after after a point, so I'm not supposed to be able to just like do this to him. You know what I mean? Well, this is the original version of the game, so. I actually got pretty lucky there. I mean, yeah, I did heal, but still. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, let's continue on. Ooh, hello. Are we already there near the end of this place? Oh, we are, we are. Let's save it really quick, shall we? All right, let's just finish this thing, right? We're at the top of this place. Look at that, you know? Oh, but we have to... Well, we can't get to it yet. No! Dracula's right there. The game's almost over, right? Is the game truly over? Are we about to fight Dracula? What happens if we don't ex fully explore the castle till its fullest? Will we make a terrible mistake? Find it next time in the next episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.